Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna share with you five things that you shouldn't do if you are in Denmark. So stay tuned. So those five things I'm gonna mention are to help people who are coming to Denmark, whether it's to stay here to permanently, or if it's just for holidays, it's just little rules that you should know about if you want to come to Denmark for whatever reason. If you are Danish, please by all means comment below if you agree with those rules and if you have anything else to add to them. So the number one is don't go on a bicycle if you don't know the basic rules. So uh, even if you go uh, like here on holidays, it's so convenient to go around with bicycle, by like riding a bicycle because you have uh, bicycle lanes everywhere. It's so convenient. But I would say there are some basic rules you should know. If you don't want to piss off someone, some Danish person, while you're riding a bicycle, or oh, of course, if you you shouldn't endanger yourself either or anybody else. So basically, you need to know some rules, and especially if you are like in Copenhagen, which is a pretty busy city with a lot of bicycles everywhere. So just know some basic rules. I can mention a few if you want, um, but obviously, it's good to look online and to just check what are the main rules that you should know about. But the first thing I would say that my partner did mention that I didn't know about, and I did ride the bicycle quite a few months before he mentioned that um, that rule to me is that you are supposed to have lights on whenever there is lights in the street so whenever it's dark you have to have your lights on they should be working um, you also are supposed to have reflectors on your bicycle you are supposed to have a bell on your bicycle a working bell otherwise same you will get fined if you are stopped by the police and they see any of those things things missing on your bicycle, uh, obviously it will be a pretty bad fine because they are pretty strict in Denmark. When there's a fine, it's usually a pretty, pretty painful fine, okay? You are always supposed to ride on the right side, okay? You do not, do not pass someone from the right side. It's pretty obvious, especially if you are someone who drives a car. But anyway, it's better to mention it just in case. So you are always supposed to ride on the right side. And if you want to pass someone, if there's two bicycle lanes, then or one that's large enough, then by all means, you just go on the left side to pass them. And a super important rule as well, I would definitely mention hand gestures, okay? You want to stop, you definitely sign to say that you're gonna stop especially for me for example who has a wagon in the back with my kids obviously i have to be extra careful with that as well if there's someone that's pretty close uh, behind me in the back or obviously if you want to go on the right or on the left you have to signal those as well so that was just the number one thing to not do if you are in denmark do not ride a bicycle if you don't know the rules Number two, it's an unwritten rule, but everybody knows about it. And that's the first thing that my partner mentioned as well when we arrived here in Denmark is that you do not look into people's houses. So that's something that might be like, what, what are you talking about? Uh, obviously, um, we don't necessarily have that in other countries, but here you're not supposed to do that. So uh, Danish people like their privacy and you are not supposed to look into their houses. So usually they don't close the curtains. Uh, if you pass by a house, you can see the inside of the house, everything, but you are not supposed to look because it's just something that's uh, disrespectful and rude and uh, you're just not supposed to do that. So definitely something that you should know about if you're a foreigner so you don't offend anyone. Number three is don't be too formal. Uh, what I mean by that is that first titles like anything like sir or madam or I don't know where you're from, but again, it depends on the country. I am from France. We have a special uh, term uh, to be respectful towards people. Um, they have it here too, of course, in Denmark, they have D, uh, but they don't use it. They don't use it at all. Uh, everybody is very informal, even in the workplace as well. Or if you're talking to someone in the street, they use do as you in English and they don't necessarily say tack a lot and things like that. They're not very formal in their way of speaking. Nothing bad about that. It's just the way I'm just saying how things are in Denmark. And if you are from another country, it might be a bit confusing or a bit like maybe a bit offending to you if someone is too informal to you directly someone you don't know, 
but that's how things are done in Denmark. People are inf informal. Uh, it also comes to dressing up, okay? You don't have to uh, overdress here in Denmark. In some countries, you might have to dress up a certain way when you go to work and all that. It seems to be a bit more laid back here compared to some countries. So, just so you are aware of it. Number four is don't break the rules. Do not, I repeat, do not break the rules in Denmark. Denmark is a very orderly society. Uh, usually people, I say usually, of course there's always someone who's gonna break the rules here and there, but overall everyone is pretty mindful and they're all, they're all uh, pretty much following the rules. So if it comes to jaywalking, it's very rare to see someone jaywalking because again, the fine is pretty, pretty bad. So it's, I guess it must be very rare to get a fine jaywalking because to be honest, I don't see a lot of police cars here and there, but you never know. It happened to my partner. It was the middle of the night. He looked left and right. There was no one. He decided to cross. And then there was this police car that was waiting behind somewhere, hiding. And it was just bad timing and he got caught and he got fined. So it happens. Um, it's just to mention one rule like jaywalking, but it comes to anything. It comes to recycling. It comes to absolutely any type of law or rule, uh, people follow the rules here. So you should definitely do the same. It really varies from what country, from which country you are from in the first place, but definitely something to be aware of. Fifth thing, don't be late. So that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna go into details about it. It's pretty obvious, right? Do not be late, whether it's at, uh, obviously work especially, obviously uh, appointments at the doctor, anything like that, appointments, at, like any appointments, do not be late. It's just something that Danish people are usually very careful with. Uh, they're always on time or a little bit in advance, especially for appointments, important appointments and things like that. So the other day I was late because I got lost. Uh, I obviously called to say, I'm sorry, I'm running late. I was seven minutes late. I felt like the end of the world to me because I'm always in advance. Um, and it was an important appointment, so I felt very bad. The lady was fine with it, but I definitely uh, didn't. I definitely felt very bad about it. So uh, do not be late, even if it's for a party or a dinner or even with friends. Generally speaking, Danish people, if they say we're gonna be there at ten in the morning, they're gonna be there at ten in the morning. They're not gonna run late. So just so you are aware, if you are Danish, do you agree with those points? And yes, thanks very much guys for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Have a great day, bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just